in the first video of this section we will learn what is eager execution in this section we will see what is eager execution what is dynamic graph execution then we will look at what is variable sharing so now let's get started in tensorflow every operation or every computation is represented as a data flow graph a graph contains a set of operations called tf operations as objects which represents different different units of computations and tf tensors which represents units of data that flow between operations whenever we want to perform an operation using tensorflow we have to execute this graph every time we have to define a graph and after defining the complete graph we have to execute it a default graph is always registered and accessible by tf.get default graph and we can execute the graph by calling tf.session object and then we can execute the graph by calling session object with the help of tf.session and then we can execute the graph by calling tf.session but what happens we are doing prototyping or when we are doing some research work every time it is very lengthy process to define the graph then initialize this session and execute the graph so this is how operations or computations are being performed in tensorflow so now let's see what is eager execution eager execution is an imperative programming environment that evaluates operations immediately without building graphs operations written concrete values instead of construction of a computational graph or one later so what happens in eager execution as we have to define graphs and every time we have to call the session object to run that graph but in eager execution we can run operations directly without writing the complete graph suppose if we want to add two numbers then we can simply define those two variables with the tf tensors and we can directly add them with the help of eager execution and see what is the output rather than defining the graph then inserting the values in the graph and running that graph later so eager execution helps in fast prototyping of different methods so eager execution helps in fast prototyping of different methods and widely used in research projects now let's see what are benefits of using eager execution as we already know it provides intuitive interface to structure your code and quickly iterate on small data and models you can test and try with multiple iterations you can test your code with small small changes to get up to the optimal code where you are satisfied and move to the next level of your code you can work on dynamic models with complex control flow because in this you do not have to define the complete graph and then you will run that graph by calling the session object in this you can work on complex control flow because in this you can define small small portions and try them run them so that you will know what is the optimal output of this code or if you want to make changes in the runtime for an example defining this first part of the graph then you can quickly try and code you can then go to second part then try and code and hence by this process you can create a complex control flow which can solve your problem easily the debugging is also very easier when you are working in eager execution mode if you're working in research and want to iterate models very quickly or if you want to test and try with small small changes you can work with eager execution for the fast development or for the fast research and if you're new to machine learning and wants to iterate on models wants to gain a hands on advantage like you are doing machine learning with the help of numpy and pandas then eager execution will make a tensor flow working similarly to numpy we can directly pass numpy arrays 
perform additions of matrices, subtractions, multiplications and different different operations very similar to NumPy.